there is nothing better than the skyline of the beautiful city mm. of brotherly love, a.k.a. Philadelphia. Tonight, we got a doozy on our hands. We got the Philadelphia 76ers going up against the Miami Heat. Oh, my goodness, guys. Before we get into the game, I got to get into my friends. My personnel is here with me on Unplugged. First up, I got Harry Ratchford, a.k.a. Bucket Low, with me. Say what up to Harry. I also got my guy Joey Wells, a.k.a. Dub. What got into you tonight? Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart, really? Yeah. Thank Kevin Hart for that. It's a great feeling, you know, when you go in, into that bag, um, especially when you're on the road, you know, when you got people like Kevin Hart talking on the sideline. You know, I am glad that our first guest is who he is. I will give him his respect by introducing him as a Hall of Famer, a legend. My brother Dwayne Wade is joining us on NBA Unplugged. Uh, Dwayne, you know, I, I think you're very immature. I'm, I'm noticing your background, and I know why. I know why you're doing what you're doing, and I, I'm going to yeah, start by saying I don't like it. Was it. the Miami Heat <laughs> defender that had his <laughs> yes, arm I in the... uh, a very successful interview here and, and give you what the do you proper mean? due. I will refrain. I will refrain from doing what I would normally oh, do. No, here. not the Emmy. Uh, <laughs> he's pulling up Emmys. He's oh. pulling up championships. Oh, he got trophies. <laughs> it's really, it's just childish. It, it really is. It's the big opportunities. Uh, I witnessed one live in person. And I got to see you really play A-level basketball. Although not walking away with the series, I got to see just the competitive player that you are. Uh, let's just talk about playoff basketball in moments like this, right? Like the play-in game and the play-in games in general. What do they mean and what's your take on them? Uh, well, first of all, you didn't have to say that about it. We didn't walk away with the win from the series. Um, we knew that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, that was just a little shot. A little shot. We knew that already. Um, <laughs> You know, listen to your leaders, man. Listen to one of the greats that ever played the game. You know, I just gave it everything I had, and everything I had ended up being. I say this, okay. You don't oh, have to wow. do it. We, we get it. That's, oh, wow. It's really ridiculous what you're doing. Oh, wow. But you know what? I'm going to maintain my professionalism. I'm not going to take the bait. I'm not going to take the but bait you, at all. You're actually trying to be I, a I journalist. I want to talk about you. I am. I, just, I, I love the game of basketball, and you know that. You know, you know that I have a high level of love for the game. I think as a player, how did you get better at dealing with sideline pressure? Because what I did, and I've done several times throughout your career, is throw you off your game. You had a moment of luck in Philadelphia, but there's games that the league doesn't even know about to where I, I've literally oh, really? seen you decline based off of my verbal attack. Um, how did you get better at dealing with the sideline verbal warfare that I presented um, in a... In a, in a and uh, I guess you could say, I want a regular, right? Like it, like me being courtside, it got to a okay, point. Okay. I don't think you guys are no, even no, aware. It, it got to a point where Dwayne was actually afraid okay. of me being courtside. I this is that. a fact, by the way. I saw that at one point. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, uh, yeah. I see it. Actually, I, I, sent yeah, you, I sent you tickets to the to game three in, in Miami after we beat y'all in game two. You didn't show up because I wanted you courtside. Dang. Because you are a fan. Oh, shut up, and Dwayne. That's what hecklers are on the sideline. They're fans. You're just rubbing it in. Okay. Thanks. Well, I, I want to ask a question there, uh, D. Y. Yanni. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you've been uh, you, you played so long ago. Uh, how do you feel about the play-in game? I know you didn't get a chance to do a lot of that. How do you feel about that uh, play-in tournament? I know the game has changed so much since so, he's so left. Much. He's he's he he plays so long. Oh, he's oh, old. So far. He's old. Right ago. Ago. You got to think that age sneaks yeah. up on you. Yeah. Um, I want to know what player today excites you at the same level that you excited most. That's good. Uh, that was good. That was good. I was going to get that. That was good. Mm -hmm. That was, that, that was, that good. That was good, Kevin. I got I to gotta give you credit on that. Um, I would say, first of all, before I say the two players, you don't want to talk about us playing one on one in my in Miami. You don't want to talk about that. that. I didn't ask you that. Oh, I got footage. Dwayne, I, I didn't got ask footage. you that. Um, I'm here. I, uh, I get Tyrese that. Maxie, I'm asking you questions. Okay, my bad. I just thought I was. Okay. Tyrese Maxey is <laughs> somebody did, that I Zaire, like, plays yeah, very he, similar to me, and uh, and I love Anthony Edwards as well. I think both of those guys have similar mm. uh, tools that I've had in, in my toolbox over. The years and it's their fearlessness uh, to attack the basket. Yeah, um, it's their creativity uh, with the ball and without the ball. And so, those two players are the ones I look well, at better. and say, "Yeah, they're." I think those guys are those guys are probably better. 
then you well, then, well, then you wait, are at that time. Wait, what? Cam, Cam, that, Cam, that, that, that is a guess. Cam, hmm? yeah, he, he's a guess. He's sitting right there. I'm entitled to my opinion. You are, but that's right. not. That's I'm not entitled really to my right opinion. opinion. I think he's. I think D Wade's phenomenal. But I'm just saying those the players that he mentioned. Yeah. I'm like, I got excited about. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, D Wade. I'm sorry, did I cut you off? Wow, Damn. that's not cool at all. That's crazy. I would. You said better, better than me. No. <laughs> they, they better than me. No, no. I. <laughs> I wouldn't say that to a guest. <laughs> Oh, I wow. sleep good at night, Kevin. <laughs> wow. man, keep doing what hey, y'all doing, uh, man. It's hey, and I'm a, uh, thank you, man. And let me know if you get that. I sent you a package. Uh, it's like it's got like um, it's got like like everything for like joint support or like muscle muscle management, like things for people that are getting older, like just that have a hard Kevin, time moving around. Kevin, a lot of you a nice we, thing. We, a lot of we yeah. all watched you tear tear up everything in your body on a race outside. Right. That's it. You, you can't you. say that. That's it. Yeah. Okay. That's right. it. Thank you. I'm asking you to leave. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Producers, please. <laughs> Cut him off. Producers, get him out. Hey, right. Keep doing what hey. y'all doing, uh, man. It's hey, beautiful. And I'm a... Uh, Thank you, man. And let me know if you get that. I sent you a package. Uh, it's like it's got like um, it's got like like everything for like joint support or like muscle muscle management, like things for people that are getting older, like just that have a hard Kevin, time moving around. Kevin, a lot of tumor, Kevin, a nice we, thing. We, a lot of tumor. We yeah. all watched you tear tear up everything in your body on a race outside. Right. That's it. Yeah, you Thank can't you. say that. That's it. Yeah. Okay. That's right. it. Thank you. I'm asking you to leave. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Producers, please. <laughs> Cut him off. Producers, get him out of here. Houston. Guys, so many places. Once again, KevinHartNation.com. Hey, let's get ready for our next guest, man. We got the hibachi. Agent Zero. Agent Zero. Get Gilbert it. Arenas is joining us on NBA Unplugged. What up with you, Gil? How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm good. Gil, hey, you know, Harry. I like Harry. to give the... I like to... Yeah. Why does Harry have a ball <laughs> like he's a hooper? <laughs> Why do you have a ball yeah, like you're a hooper, Harry? Come on, man. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't address it, Gil. But listen, speaking of hooper, let's give you the proper hooper introduction. Yes, indeed. Uh, Gilbert Arenas, for those who do not know, I fought you, not him. This man is a three-time NBA All-Star who has become one of the top podcasters. And I do mean that, man. When it comes to speaking basketball and speaking it correctly, Gilbert Arenas is at the top of the list, man. Uh, just speaking from the side of players, man, when you you look at this matchup, you talk about the Miami Heat, you talk about the Philadelphia 76ers. A lot of our conversation earlier was just talking about where I personally feel the 76ers are today. Um, and, you know, like, are we missing another piece? What else is it that we feel that we need? My answer was just a healthy Joel Embiid and, you know, just some more role players. Uh, I would love your take on what you feel the 76ers' fate is now. Like, where do you think we are as a program? I mean, a healthy Bambi legs would be nice. Um, I guess y'all call, I guess y'all call it a process. <laughs> but um, I, I, I think, I think, when you guys lost Jimmy Butler, that was the piece that you guys needed. You you needed that dog. You already had the superstar. Uh, but you know, when you talk about Jimmy Butler, you talk about the Miami Heat. You know, what do you feel about this program and how they surrounded Jimmy? Um, you know, with players that they feel can help Jimmy get the job done. Do you feel like he's being properly supported in Miami? No, this is an AAU program, right? They got uh, he, he's like the uh, he's like the uh, the coach's son. He's like the coach's son, and they keep bringing a whole bunch of pieces that fit the son, but not mm -hmm. enough pieces mm -hmm. to take them to the next level, right? I mean, as fierce as Jimmy is, we know the team is not that good when everybody's waiting for playoff Jimmy to come. Oh, J mm -hmm. playoff, look at this. Mm -hmm. Look at him right now. Look at him. They don't know what to do. Mm. Mm. What a man. <laughs> All right, guys, we got another tweet. Ask Kevin Hart. <laughs> Yo, Kevin Hart, uh, you unretiring and coming back to the Subway All Star game to win another MVP? You know, I've been asked this question a lot. And, Gil, wow. I'm glad that you're actually on the show right now. You know, for me to do that, I feel like it's unfair to the other celebrities that are playing the game uh, and trying to play it at the high level that I once played it at. Yes, the celebrity game is taking a dip uh, since my, you know, departure, but it's only mm -hmm. right that they find their way. And uh, those trophies just have to sit on the case, right? They have to sit in the case and, and be admired because I can't go backwards, Harry. He was cooking, you was cooking. Wasn't no hotter grease than when he was frying. 
Uh -huh. The question is, to this day, where does Gilbert rank amongst the two guards? Whoa, Gilbert, see, there, you there, tell us, there, what there, do you think? There we go right there. That's where you messed up at. I'm not a amongst shooting guard, them. baby. I <laughs> okay. was a PG. I was a point guard. Okay. And okay. trust me, I, okay. I, don't, I don't rank too high in that either. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't. And I mean, I just I just didn't want to be confused with the shooting guards because Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant bad, is in that bad. lane. All right, you know what I mean? So um, <laughs> amongst my peers, you know, I was a killer. I got hurt, so I didn't really get to fulfill my destiny. So, but when I played, I was him a little bit. I was him a little bit. And? Yeah, yeah, Gil in Orlando. Look, five assists is amazing. I was I was pushing for one. And you know, sometimes when you get a double team and triple team, you know, you got you, they force you to pass the ball. So there was I, there was four more assists that I, I had more than I wanted to. So, you know, Kevin, you know, I have, to I have to correct you just a little bit. You said I made my team better. I was not trying to make them better, Kev. That wasn't my job. My job was to put the ball in the basket. Okay? Put the ball in the basket. That, that's what I was there for. <laughs> they can make themselves oh, better, Kev. <laughs> you said that's not your job. Guys, that was a challenge. I guess what the call was overturned. I love to see this overturn come into play. I wonder can they do marriages like that? Harry. I'm happy. Harry, we're talking a game of basketball. Oh, it's not I mean, are we uh, watching are we being honest here? Kawhi, Harry's this, this, he's played, this season, he's played more games yeah, than he has Harry. in about three or four seasons. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, so he, he's not in a rush to play no games is what I'm saying. Neither is Clay. Well, okay. What happened? You guys are not going to turn this into a shot fest Let's between failing teams. Let's, right. Let's watch a winning team. We're watching the 76ers right now. Well, I will say hey, that. There we go. go. Flaw J, before you say anything, let me give you the, the proper intro. Uh, Flaw J won a championship with LSU in 2023, has a successful music career, uh, and as a recent profile puts it, she averages 15 points per game and more than 100,000 listeners on Spotify. I love stats and what a stat sheet you have. Welcome to NBA Unplugged. How are you, Flaw J? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I am good. Uh, better now that I'm talking to you. I got to take a moment to celebrate you, to congratulate you, um, not only on an amazing season, although you didn't get the ending that you want. I think that there was um, a championship that was won just in the the conversation attached to women's sports, women's basketball, um, and energy and synergy around it, you and the rest of the stars that are playing the game. Let's take a second just to talk about how it feels and if you are grasping the change of the moment um it's beautiful honestly it's just like a blessing to be a part of it I think that you know me coming out of high school at the time that I came out where NIL kind of just got started and I was able to kind of capitalize off that is amazing to get opportunities like this like to wear my merch like this to be in like a part of a growing and like kind of like the the eye of the hurricane of women's basketball and how it's coming up so it's beautiful for me it's well you you wake up at 5 a.m and you get as many workouts as you can in um I, I i had to learn about work ethic you know what i mean i really had to learn about it and i kind of grew up with it just my mom being a single mother and her trying to you know take care of me and my brother I, that kind of in like still that work ethic in me because it's like i always wanted more and like i just feel like if I get up at 5 a.m. and I work out three times, like, you'll never catch me. And, you know, so I told the announcer, they mm. asked me, they was like, Flaje, what happened? Like, what did you eat this morning? How, when did you know this was going to be your day? I said, I knew when I woke up this morning. Like, I put in so much work that if the ball don't go in the hoop, then I got to live with that. But what I couldn't live with is me not putting in the work and then, the you know, failing at the, the same time. So that's how I think about it. Uh, right, right, right. Somebody that's known on the highest levels. He's in Japan now. He's in Japan. He's in Japan. He's been retired for a minute. You going to bring him out of retirement? Well, I mean, I would have to call him. But if she's looking for a feature or somebody to match the energy uh, that you pretty much bring to the table and rap, and I'm quite sure I can make a call and get drop her to the table any day for you. Right? Is that going on? Yeah, that's that's that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, can we can we make that happen? You, go ahead. 
<laughs> Can we exactly. make it happen? Listen, making it happen means that you're calling a captain. Don't call a captain what? if we ain't rapping. Yes. I'm a guy that does nothing. <laughs> Don't look for tapping. Got shoes bigger than a boat because I'm big snapping. Whoa. Like a fish with no cook. I'm coming off like a grill that only cooks. What? Who you Wait. want? Hey, don't talk to me. Are you a rook? Hey, bro. Whoa. Slow down. You got to chill. Everybody chill. Slow down. I feel it. Chill. Everybody I feel slow down. Hey. Everybody That's slow down. Chill. Hey, hey, chill. Hey, hey, everybody chill. slow down. Coach yeah. Cosell. He's taking the place of Joey because Joey said something I didn't like and I got him I'm out about of to here. Say, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's out of here. He's out of here. I'll tell you what, what, what. What is also helping the 76ers is that Tyler Hero keeps shooting. He's four for 17. At some point, he just got to give up. No, no. no shoot no. or shoot, man. Yeah, shooters always yeah. shoot. Says losers. Shooters shoot. I mean, honestly, if Steph Curry was having a well, bad shooting well, well, day. Well, let's, 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 let's not do that. Let's not do that. Let me get my question. If Steph Curry was having a bad shooting day, would you tell him to stop shooting? No, because he's the greatest shooter in, in NBA and history. There, and last night he had and a Tyler bad. Hero is not. But last night, Steph had a bad shooting night, which is why they're at home. It's okay. Mm. No worries about that. Mm. But I think mm. that shoot is shoot. In order for you to get the ball in the hole, you got to put it up. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. We got another tweet. Ask Kevin Hart. You versus Joel Embiid. Who wins in a three-point contest? Embiid oh, all me. day. Embiid me. all day. I got you, Kev. I got Embiid all day. Draymond you, Green thought the same thing. Yeah, what Draymond happened to Draymond can't Green? shoot like Joel Embiid. Y'all tied. You know, you know, they keep showing this clip of Joel picking me up yep. from yeah. that game. Yep. This is a good time to let the world know. Uh, I had no idea that, that was going to happen. No, that was like <laughs> impromptu. You, know, you look very scared. How did you, yeah. how did you feel up yeah. there? I didn't like it. <laughs> But I knew a bunch of cameras was on, so I couldn't did, do nothing Did you about get dizzy? It. Did you get dizzy because uh, you were no, so high up in the air? He threw me up high. The Sixers have too many weapons and too much experience for the Miami Heat. We will win this basketball game. Kevin, I love your confidence, but you're never this calm watching the Sixers. What's going on? Okay. Well, John, this is not Kevin Hart, the Sixers fan. This is Kevin Hart, the journalist. I'm speaking from Jur a more professional. A journalist? Well, I'm a journalist. Wait a minute. I'm a sports analyst. Just because you have cards in your hand doesn't make you a journalist. Don, look at this. Watch this. <laughs> all right. You know who does that? All right, all right. Do me a favor. Just do me a favor. Act like you're a fan. Act like we're really at the house watching the game. Seriously. Go into fan mode. John. I want to see it. The world needs to see it. The no. world wants to see you fan out over the Sixers. No, John. I mean, how can you fan out over a team that this, that's this bad? Yeah. I guess defense. you got a point there. Yeah. Kevin Love. No. Uh, he's kind of been absent from the second half of the third quarter. Definitely absent from the top half of the fourth quarter. Yeah. Uh, in order for Miami to make a play at this game, he's going to have to do more. Well, as, say, as you say, the, right on, on cue. cue. On cue. He traveled. On cue. On cue. I think that's like his fifth steal. Yeah. It's fifth still. And he's holding his knee as well. Yeah, it's a good argument. I'm about to say you frowned at me like I said something crazy. It's a good argument. I didn't, I didn't give you a rebuttal. I said it's a good argument. Come on, hit one. There, there you go. go. That's why he shoots the ball. Five for 19, but you, I'm um, five for 20, but you know, who's counting? Okay, Jaime, get to the rack. Hey. Uh. Kind of look like me it's and my great, first step. My great, first step is that. Great rookie pickup. My first step is Shout that. Shout out to Jaime Hotcares and the Hotcares family. Oh my God. What? Hot oh, yeah. and the hot kids family. Oh my God. The whole family you shouted out. Yeah, the whole nice. family. Don't know one of them people. I know all of them. Name is name is Dad. Jaime Hot Kids Senior. Oh, okay. That my was God. Easy. Okay. That was easy. Okay. All right. <laughs> that was real easy. <laughs> <laughs> that was real easy. Here you go. Speaking of Jaime Hot Kids going up against the process and misses. Yeah, for sure. All right, can they get MB started? Mismatch, thank you. IQ through the roof. Do you, feel, do, you, do you call that IQ, or do you feel like today's players are looking for the foul? And, You're and looking, looking for to be smarter rest? than your defender at all times. So if I can be smarter than my defender, if I can be smarter than my defender, and if I can use your body weight or your position against you at any point in time, mm -hmm. I will to get to the foul line. That's that that, that wasn't points. my question. My question was, do you think they rely on the refs? No, too much they're, to they're make relying those. on the mistake of a defender. So if you are a hands-on defender, I'm going to make you pay by getting you in position 
that's out of position. And why, 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 why are you using the word I'm? They do that. You don't do that. You can't do that. It's so this, funny. This is very true, Kevin. I don't know. You think I just got the knowledge just because? I guess we all got four MVPs up here. Oh, that's right. We don't. We don't. I'm the only one with four MVPs in the celebrity game. You're right. Joel, bang. Joel, bang, and bead. Is that New his nickname, nickname alert. Bang. Joel, bang, and bead. The process to trust. You gotta watch it. All right, in the last two minutes. Well, it, uh, uh, wait a minute. Tyler right Hero back. said he's not going to stop shooting. I don't, I don't know, I don't know what green light they gave that man in Miami. Yeah, absolutely. A two. Come on, Joel. So, and, one. Uh, and one. And one. And one. Mm, like, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. All right. I almost, you said you almost there. turned into almost, a fan. I thought almost, you was a journalist. Sit down. It almost came out. Oh, my God. Coming down to a minute left in the game, Kev. How you feeling? Palm sweaty. Mom spaghetti. You see what I did? Okay, there? wait a minute now. Did you see what I did there? I did, Harry. But at this moment, we have to embrace the game of basketball. We gotta, we gotta watch things play out. Uh, turned it up. Turned it up a notch. This is amazing. Watch it. He's open. The Batum double. is open. The pass. And, and one. one. Good pass. Let's go, Kelly. And one. How do you give that up? It's a great 36 pass. seconds left. I mean, it's just take a second to look at the IQ of Joel Embiid to hold on to the ball. Let the double team play out. Find his man. On the 24, though, do you? Mm. Oh, that was terrible. Did he shoot that? That was terrible. Oh, my Let's God. Go. Let's go. Oh, my God. All right, take a second to look who's celebrating because that's who was on defense. You know, Smith was very vocal about that. Oh, wait, we got a tweet. This game. Kevin, who is going to be the hero of this game? Ask Kevin Hart. I'll say it. Batoon. Batoon is the hero of this game. Get one more crazy possession. Oh, wow. Oh, God. I didn't want to bask in there. Timeout. Get smart. That's smart basketball. Timeout. Basketball. We got a like timeout. John. During this timeout, guys, I'm going to explain to John what face guarding is. Yeah, stop. And why it's important in a game of basketball Breaking with up. this much time on the clock. Uh, you guys don't go nowhere. This is NBA Unplugged, and the game only gets better from here. John, face guarding. The Kevin, they don't stop. Know. I'm Coach Clausell. I know exactly what face guarding is. They call me Coach. Who? They. Oh Not God. the best shooting game for him. Come on. Come on. Oh, God, we went down. Good pass. Kyle. Oh, my goodness. Nope. Whoa. There you go. Oh, they call a foul. <laughs> oh, he's definitely not going to miss. Well, I mean. It's safe to say that if Joel Embiid played the whole season, he would be the MVP again. And wow. what? Close out strong. Close out the league? game strong. What league? Close yeah. out the game strong. Oh, Rebound. Shoot that. Mm, Come on, I man. guess. No timeouts left. Come on, Sixers. He's smart, cow. There we go. Mm. Uh, but he didn't have many touches in the fourth. And I think that's why they put the ball in Tyler Hero's hand. I think that's why he shot the ball so much, because they didn't have another reliable go-to guy. I'll tell you this, and I'll say it again. I'm not mad at the green light attached to Tyler. Like, that's a green light that's given for a reason. Mm. Before Tyler's injury, Tyler was putting that ball in the basket. What are, what are you talking about, Kevin? What's the problem? You don't think that Jalen Brunson should be in the conversation of MVP? No, I do not. You're very That's argumentative. That's crazy. Jalen Brunson is not having a better season than Jason Tatum, who has a team that's first in the East. He's not having a better season than SGA. He's not having a better mm. season than Joker. He's not having a better season, or was, before Giannis got hurt, before Giannis in the rebuilding of the Milwaukee Bucks after they figured out they're getting Doc Rivers. I think that he should be considered for the simple fact that he well, went to a losing life. organization and put them in second place right. in the league. Right. I think he should be considered. In a, in a conference where 30 wins gets it done. Good job. Uh, a foul call before the ball was inbound, so the team gets a free throw and the ball. Of course. Well, nothing's going to be easy because we're the 76ers. No, they don't. Where you, where you get that rule from? Why would we just let it? Before the ball's inbound? What just happened? He just shot a free throw. Tyler Hero. Oh, he just shot a free throw. Yeah. I don't know if you were paying attention. I was. I was talking. Yeah. Harry, stop talking basketball with John. <clears throat> there you go. Now foul. <clears throat> 
Wait a I'm minute. Off. What just happened? What just happened? Come on. What just happened? What is that? That's something that's terrible. Just happened. What just happened there? They seem to be arguing right now, Cam. What's going on? They're not arguing. This is chemistry. This is called a bond. There you go. There well. you go.